Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about uh, the BRICS system hardware and what you'll see is that we have um, our one that we put together on box the other day and we have it all set up now. We have our thermal strips in. So let's just go through a couple of the features that are on this BRICS. Um, here we have our, our main CPU. If you look at, we have a front panel and on there you'll see my CPU switch here which has the run terminal and stop mode. You also have your power and run light. Then we have our um, micro SD slot which is here which we can then add um, micro SD cards into the controller for data logging which is a very nice feature. Sorry, built-in data logging. Then we have our we have our communication port here, our serial port. This is a um, RS-232 uh, or 485. And then we have a built-in, on ours here, an Ethernet port. Then we also have on the front, there's a socket at the bottom here, which is a, a pluggable option module. And we have communication modules that we can plug in there. In my particular case, I have a USB programming port that I have plugged into that location. We have a battery compartment here on the top, which has the battery and a series of dip switches. So we can uh, adjust that. And then over here to the right hand or left hand side of the unit, there's a little selector switch or a little cover that pops off and you can slide in a custom label in this location in the front window of the bricks. Okay. Now as far as um, expandability, so basically we'll, go, well first of all we have four different models that we can have. We can have a, a no I.O. module, um, we can have a 10 point, we can have 18 point which is what we have here or we have a 36 point. Then we can put pluggable modules in. That's that uh, expansion down here that we just talked about. We can then have a DC expansion modules that we plug into the side of the unit, which we saw last time when we unboxed this uh, controller. We have AC modules. And you'll notice that the uh, AC and the DC uh, input modules or I.O. modules are, are available, as well as your relay output expansion modules. Now all these modules you'll see are color coded. So DC inputs are always, or inputs themselves are always blue. So I know if I look at here, that's a DC input. That's, that's also an input uh, module because it's blue. The output modules are always in red. So combination modules we can also order have both blue and red. Then we have a programming software, which is a free download off the website. Um, we have uh, ZipLink modules, or ZipLink uh, I.O. So we have, instead of wiring these all into um, ter individual terminal strips, we have a cable that already does that for you. So then you just terminate in the field right into your panel. Saves a lot of wiring. Then we have sp spare parts. When there's the documentation and the starter kits that we can have with this unit. So that's uh, uh, our basic uh, information on the bricks. And if we, we power this particular model here, we can power it up by anywhere from 85 to 265 volt AC. I have it, my terminals up here, they are connected. So my, um, my line, my neutral, and my ground. So I'm gonna plug it in now, and we'll see what it looks like. You'll see it does a, a sequence of checks on my LED display and then my power light now is on. And I can take that terminal switch, we can put that up into run mode and you see my run mode was on as well as my power. Alright, that's it for now. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up at the end of this video so other people can um, find us just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. 
you'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.